Good morning and a beautiful day to you. It is another clear, bright, sunny day in Lombok and today I'm going to take you to the Gili Island. but not the Gili Islands you may be thinking. Because when people come to Bali and Lombok and you say the Gili Islands, they think of the, shall I say, famous Gili Islands, Gili Troangan, Gili Mino, and Gili Air. But they're not the Gili Islands I'm gonna take you to today. These are often referred to as the secret Gilis, and they're in the southwest corner of Lombok, just over here. I've got nice and early for my breakfast. I've just started serving breakfast. I can't really go on an empty stomach. And then it's about a 90 minute drive. Then I have to find a boat and take me to, I'm hoping to explore two, if not three of these secret gillies. <laughs> Hoping this sign means this is where you go. And that was a pleasant, if quite long, drive. Uh, took me an hour and a half to get here. I follow the the map to this place, which I will now put up here for you, and I'll put the name of the place. Um, so you can get here. It took me 90 minutes. The road was great, great condition. Came via the, there's three routes here from Kuta. Um, I took the main road, which is a slightly longer road, but it's in very good condition, goes via the airport. Uh, no troubles at all, nice weather as well. Uh, then I get you off the main road down there, you take this little side road, there's a little sign, it looks like this, this is the little sign. Um, it says, got Gili Sudak, Gili Kedis on, then you come down this road and you'll see all these little signs here. Like this. And there, over there, I don't know if you can see, that is Gili Sudak. Gili Kedis is hidden behind there, and Gili Nangu is behind that. So I was very close. I actually could swim there, but not with the camera. Um, I found someone to, because uh, there's all these signs, and actually somebody, I stopped to take some photographs, and somebody said, I've got a boat, do you want to do a deal? Uh, yeah, okay. So I negotiated a price. Uh, we got to 300,000 for the day, boatman, until return at 6 p.m. Can leave the bikes here. Um, it's going to come, hopefully, very soon. Presumably his boat must be over there, I hope, very close. Um, do you want to come, pick me up, take me to Geddes, we'll have a look around Geddes, then we'll go and have lunch, which is not included, but hopefully I can find somewhere for lunch, because I think there's a lodge on Gili... <sighs> Sudak, Gili Sudak, and then, after lunch, and maybe a bit of a rest, we'll then go to the Far Island, which is Gili Nangu, where they have the best snorkeling on the reef. Oh, they've got me some Gombok coffee. I uh, can enjoy the sunshine and the view and wait for the boatman. Took me, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes at most on the boat from the mainland to Nangu. Nangu is the island that's the furthest away. Now they drop you off on the corner of the beach, which is right beside the snorkeling spot. Let me show you. Just the boats land there, and the snorkeling spot is right there. And they've, they've sunk an artificial reef, so there is lots of things to see out there. Fish apparently will go snorkeling a little while, see what there is to see. Um, they have put some rules and regulations up, like no music, no cooking your own food, no bringing fires, no football, no stepping on the coral. Good things to keep the place, place preserved and natural, which is really good. Um, 
it is quite busy. I'm surprised at how many people are here. There's quite a few people out there snorkeling in the water, quite a few people sunbathing on the beach and chilling. There is a restaurant and accommodation here. Uh, looks quite nice right on the beach. Look at that, looks beautiful. Uh, so I'm going to obviously fly the drone, get a bird's eye view, and then maybe sneak around the corner and see what's around there. Farewell Gilinangu, thank you very much, very nice in there, got a bit cloudy but didn't rain. Next stop is Gili Sudak which is, okay let me just show you, there's Gili Nangu and Gili Sudak is right there. Lovely lunch at what is, what is Warung Gili Suduk. Sudak. Warung, Warung Gili Sudak. I'm on Sudak Island. There's actually two places you can eat here. This one here, right by the beach. Also, just further along the beach, there's Nirvana, which is also an accommodation that also has a restaurant you can eat at as well. Both look okay. Simple food. I had some nut delicious chicken with some fries and iced tea. A little more expensive than the mainland, but you'd expect that for being on an island and it was actually really nice. Now I'm hiding from the weather. Unfortunately, that beautiful sunny weather I started the day with has deteriorated into big gray clouds and I've got wind and I've got rain. And so I've tried to get you some nice shots of this island. I haven't been able to fly the drone here yet. I'm hoping, hoping, I'm just chilling here for a little while. Uh, it's a beautiful place to chill, even in this weather. It's absolutely gorgeous and everybody's gone. Because people come here for lunch, then they clear off, they go to the other island and then they go home. I'm chilling here for a little while, hoping the weather will pass, I'm going to relax, maybe paddle a bit on the beach. Um, and then I'm hoping that I can get the drone up in the air, do some nice shots in the evening, late afternoon sunshine, before my boat could take me over there and have a look at the last ghillie before heading back to the mainland. I'm not overly hopeful, but I'm an optimist, so I will get something to show you. And our last island for the day, Gili Kedis. And I was lucked out on the other island. I waited, waited, the rain passed, the clouds broke up and we got a gap in the cloud to fly the drone and hopefully get some sunny pictures of Gili Sudak, which is just over there. Then it's a short five minute hop in the boat over to here to Gili Kedis, which is the Sunset Island. But over to Gili Kedis here, which is the Sunset Island. I realize I keep turning away when I'm talking to you. How rude, hey, but you know. 
Uh, it doesn't look like we had much of a sunset tonight. Those grey clouds have rolled over to the sunset. I will wait just to see if something breaks through and chill here. I'm the last boat here. There's one other group of people here. Uh, I'm not sure if they're actually visitors or not. They appear to be locals and me. It's really nice. Even though the weather's not spectacular, it's still quite beautiful. The sand underfoot is so soft. It's a tiny island. It's a half a dozen trees. Uh, there's a toilet in the back. Unfortunately, I'm a little rubbish. They really should learn to clean the rubbish off these beautiful spots. Some coral rock, a few benches, some places to sit, and of course, your compulsory Bali, um, sorry, Indonesia, Indonesia sunset swing. Yeah.